Hey everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to create a real-time Twitter sentiment analysis using TweePy and Flare. So Flare is a pre-trained uh, sentiment analysis uh, module and uh, TweePy is used for uh, getting the tweets in uh, real-time. So we are going to use these uh, modules uh, in this project. If you didn't already see the video on how to create a model for uh, Twitter sentiment analysis, uh, you can click on the right top corner of this uh, video to see that. In that video, I have explained uh, how to uh, pre-process the tweets into clean text and uh, how to do some uh, exploratory data analysis, including uh, feature extraction and uh, model building. Every steps are uh, covered here. If you build your own model uh, like that project means, you can implement the real-time Twitter sentiment analysis using this one. So if you didn't watch that, be sure to watch that and uh, come back here. Even uh, if you don't want to create your own module, you can just uh, use this uh, project because this will give you a generic uh, sentiment analysis from the text. Now let's dive into the project. The first step, we have to install the modules. So install modules. First one, pip install. TweePy. So TweePy is already there in Google Colab. Currently I'm in Google Colab. So, but still uh, I have to reinstall because the existing version is not working properly. So just add, ignore, installed. So this will just uh, reinstall the module. And uh, one more module we need is uh, Flare. So pip install Flare, run this. So this will uh, install all the modules. In the meantime, we will see uh, how to create a Twitter developer account and everything. So we'll go to the next tab. So this is the Twitter developer uh, portal. I will uh, give the link in the description. So just uh, sign up for the developer account. You will be getting some uh, 500,000 uh, tweets you can pull out in real time. I already tried around like 250 tweets. So. Just for that, I just created my own Twitter account. I don't have it before. So after getting this dashboard, uh, you just go to your project. You have to like create your uh, own project. So for Hacker Realm, I have uh, created. Uh, you don't need to set up anything. You just go to keys and tokens. And here you have to generate few keys. So the first one is consumer key. You will be having consumer key and uh, consumer keys uh, secret. So you have to copy both these things. So when you click on generate, uh, it will give you the keys and the secret keys and bearer token also you can get. Apart from that access token and access token secret is also there. You have to copy everything. So for this video, I'm going to use my uh, keys. So after that, you can also regenerate uh, if you forget the key. So that is also possible. Currently we are using Twitter API version two. So version one modules won't work. You have to check out the documentation. So currently I'm gonna go with the uh, version two. So if you are dealing with version one means the syntax will be different. So be sure to remember that in mind. And that's it guys. You just uh, need to copy and uh, paste the keys in that code. So I'll quickly do that. So now you can see all the modules have been uh, installed. I'll just clean out this. Comment it, run it once. And we will uncomment this. So that's clear out. Now, configuration. So in the configuration, I'll be just using all the keys I have copied. So these are the keys I'm going to use. You can generate your own keys uh, if you create your own developer's account. And uh, if you are using the same code, don't use the same key. It, it won't work because I'll be regenerating it. So after doing the configuration, we have to import the modules. So import modules, we will import all the necessary modules. Let's leave some code cells. Now, uh, we have to import like few things. First import TweePy. So this module is help to uh, pull out the tweets in real time based on the keyword we are giving. After that, import re so this is for uh, pre-processing the text and uh, import import time 
so we'll be having some gap in between and after that I'm going to import two more modules so from flare dot models import text classifier text classifier so this is the pre-trained model from flare dot data import sentence so these are the modules we need run this okay I just made a mistake this is like I so run this run this now all the modules have been now uh, imported and after that we have to initialize uh, to be pi now initialize to be pi we just need to establish the connection uh, from the account using these keys so to do that api equals tweepy dot client of we just pass everything bearer consumer key consumer key secret secret and access token access token and access token secret okay if you pass everything it will uh, connect to our uh, account and after that just to check whether it is working or not api dot get me so this will check whether the api is connected to other account so here you can see my name and my user handle so now we can see uh, we now we can see the connection is uh, authenticated now in the next step uh, we are going to extract the tweets so get tweets in real time so after this uh, I'm going to combine everything into a function so it will be easier for uh, real time uh, extraction and uh, doing the sentiment analysis this is just for the exploration so for that I'm going to say response response okay sorry response equals api dot search recent tweets you can so you can use so anything but i'm going to go with the search recent tweets we just need to pass the keyword that we need i am going to extract crypto so that is the keyword i'm going to use so it will just extract the tweets which are hashtagged with the uh, crypto after that we will be getting the tweets so a tweets equals response dot data response has other variables also we just need the uh, main data that's why I'm just uh, extracting the tweets so whenever you, you are using search recent tweets it will always get at least uh, 10 tweets minimum let's see for tweet in tweets print tweet dot text it will just uh, display the text and uh, to separate with uh, another tweets I'll just have these uh, symbols and after that it will just keep on going now you can see this is uh, one full tweet and this is one full tweet and we are also seeing some links and uh, here you can see some RT is there we have to remove and we have to remove this uh, user handle also so there are multiple tweets with the hashtag of uh, crypto and uh, some of the tweets are cropped because uh, it will just uh, extract only the main content like the first two lines as you can able to see most of the tweets having uh, the first two lines and other uh, data is cropped off but that is fine we'll be removing all the special characters uh, this user handles unknown variables everything in the pre-processing of our data but if you are using some uh, pre-trained model means it will already use some uh, pre-processing steps but we will do it anyway uh, we, you can uh, reuse the steps uh, if you build your own model you can uh, reuse the same steps uh, if you build your own model so these are the tweets that are available 10 tweets now after that we will go for the pre-processing 
So let's say def preprocess sorry preprocess text say text now here we are going to do a few preprocessing so convert to lowercase this is the first one text equals text dot lower and second one we will remove the user handle remove user handle that will be text equals read dot sub I'm going to use rejects alone for this uh, preprocessing at uh, brackets backslash w and uh, star so this will uh, remove so I'm just removing so this is like an empty string pass the input uh, text we want to do this processing and it will return the result and we'll be again storing it in the text so this is removing user handle next uh, we are going to remove the links remove HTTP links again text equals read dot sub of HTTP HTTP backslash yes plus and uh, I'm going to remove the whole thing don't worry if you don't understand this rejects uh, if you don't know means you can just easily copy paste from the stack overflow so that is the easy part even uh, I have got this HTTP uh, rejects from that and other uh, regular rejects uh, we are using for most of the projects so it will be easy for you the next one we have to uh, remove all the special characters remove digits also we will remove digits and uh, special characters so again we'll be doing the same thing I'll just uh, copy and paste okay now in the regular expression we'll be having brackets so except a to Z and capital A to Z well it's not needed uh, because we are converting it to lowercase still we will just add it and we will also uh, keep the hashtag we'll just use that except these characters it will uh, remove all the other uh, digits and uh, special characters and after this we will remove that RT remove RT characters so again we'll just paste it you just need to remove that RT so it has already converted it to lowercase that's why I'm removing it finally uh, you will be getting some additional spaces so I'll be removing that remove additional spaces so for that it will be backslash yes plus and here you'll just have the space whatever spaces uh, you are having it will just replace it with single space finally we will return the text okay now our pre-processed text has been completed let's see the difference tweet okay tweet dot text so currently this is the text I am having it's having uh, the user handle uh, the RT doesn't have links but uh, other than that it has some special characters everything is there so we will do the pre-processing for this so pre-process text tweet dot text okay I think I would have made some mistake okay should not I'll just uh, replace it with the empty space here also now let's run this run this okay now you can see the clear text so I think uh, this is some other uh, language currently in the Twitter uh, version uh, 2 API we, uh, we can select the language but in version 1 uh, it has the capability 
so currently we have to deal with this maybe you can uh, select some hashtags uh, with uh, english uh, language maybe in the future they will definitely have that but currently they don't have so just add that as a parameter if you have that option and you will be only getting the english tweets so this is the before pre-processing and after uh, pre-processing so this is clear now we have to create a sentiment uh, analyzer so create sentiment analysis function now here i'll just initialize the classifier because you don't want to uh, load it multiple times classifier equals text classifier text classifier dot load en sentiment so this will choose the language as english and after that i will create get sentiment sentiment just pass the tweet as parameter so if you have your own model means you can just replace your own model here now you have to do the pre-processing that will be initializing the sentence so sentence of tweet and next uh, we have to predict so classifier dot predict sentence after doing that we will return str of sentence dot labels of zero zero dot split off zero so this will return the exact label because uh, usually in the sentence dot labels you will be getting so many things maybe i can uh, show you after running this so it will just download the module and everything maybe we can just uh, get the tweets or uh, get the sentiment of this particular uh, tweet if possible and see okay now i'll just uh, reload it again okay now it's done i'll just say get sentiment get sentiment of the tweet i'll just say tweet dot text i'm just using this uh, for loop uh, tweet here so it's fine now run this now you can see it just uh, giving us as positive let's come on this one and uh, copy this paste it just remove the split you will be getting this as a result so you will be getting the po positive and the confidence score so it's also uh, considered as a polarity but we just need the label that's why i'm uh, using this uh, split of zero and even if you remove this uh, uh, index it will give you the result in an array that's why i'm just using all these things so we will just remove this and comment it now run this so currently the result is positive now that everything or uh, the base process is complete this pre-process text is an important one and other than that uh, this function is the important one so i will create real time twitter sentiment or sentiments okay just copy and paste these things it will run eventually i just want a clean code just initialize all the necessary functions in one cell preprocess the tweets okay run this and after this we will go for the main logic so get 
real time sentiments okay i am going to go for infinite loop so while true true tweets tweets equals again api dot search recent tweets recent tweets of i'm going to go with the uh, crypto itself crypto dot data we are just directly getting the data here and after that for tweet in tweets now this is the original tweet we have got so i'll just store it in the variable original tweet equals tweet dot text it will get the whole text and after this we will get the clean tweet so clean tweet this is also original tweet clean tweet equals pre process text of original tweet original tweet so now that we have got the clean tweet we will get the sentiment now okay this is original now sentiment sentiment equals get sentiment of clean tweet okay this will store the sentiment now we will display all the information so i'll say print uh in the string i'll just have this and again i'll just copy and paste it again so here i'll just have this uh, tweet and this is like a end pointer okay now here i'll just pass the original tweet so original tweet and after that i will display the sentiment print sentiment equals the sentiment variable after that i will uh, wait for a second and go for the next tweet so it will be uh, uh easier for visualization for us or i'll say it will be like quickly going through all the tweets so just like a buffer after that i'll just have some uh, new lines so this will be a uh, clean for us i'll also comment these things get tweets so this will get like 10, 10 tweets and i'm just uh, going through over the tweets one by one and uh, here this is the original tweet and this is the clean tweet finally we are getting the sentiment using this functions and we are displaying all the results let's run this okay now it started running so you can see this is the original tweet and the sentiment is positive positive and here uh, on sentiment is negative positive positive negative 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 so you can uh, see uh, like uh, it's actually uh, classifying very well when i try to get some uh, accuracy in the sense it will it's around uh, 70% because this uh, pre trained model is trained with a generic data set if you have your own model means you can definitely increase the accuracy but for uh, generic purposes uh, this will be a good start this will just uh, generate tweets as much as possible one by one and uh, you can see all the sentiments you can also have the score if you want you just need to remove that uh, split of zero here if you want to get that uh, score of uh, positive or negative i don't think we have the neutral here maybe uh, you can use other uh, pre trained modules uh, uh, like vedar or uh, text blog but uh, the accuracy will be less for this but uh, this flare is uh, developed based on our uh, word embeddings so the meaningful uh, information can be captured using this module that's why i am using flare and uh, that's it guys you can see uh, it's uh, getting the sentiments in real time and it will just go on forever
I'll just stop this. So you can also adjust this function uh, if you want and uh, get some uh, few t tweets as possible. So this is how you can uh, process everything in real time. Uh, this will be very helpful if you are developing a module uh, for uh, real time uh, usage. Let's say for uh, stock uh, news analysis or uh, general news analysis, whatever it is, you can uh, clearly uh, utilize this uh, project and uh, build on top of that. Apart from that, if you have any more ideas uh, to add it here, just leave a comment below. It will be very helpful for others. And thanks for watching this video. If you like it, uh, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Stay tuned for the next video.